You asked, does insulation help with noise reduction? Uh, many years ago, I bought my first property and I couldn't really afford very much. I had to pick one which was on a railway line with literally a freeway in front of the house, but I also had airplane noise. And my job was to actually make the house livable because inside of it, the noise was really catastrophic. I want you to imagine your house like a big bucket with various holes in it. And your job is to plug all the holes because wherever you have uh, openings on the house or thin windows, that's where the noise will come in. So there's a whole range of insulation that will actually work well with noise. Now, one way to establish what is the best insulation is to actually refer to the STC. And so the different types of insulation actually have different sound transmission qualities. Spray foam has a class of 39, while dense packed cellulose can be as much as 68. Rock wool is what I had used, and I believe that's the same as the mineral wool. That is 45 to 52. So you can see rock wool will outperform fiberglass. So in my case, I used rock wool and I used cellulose base because the higher the density of the insulation, the better will be their noise absorbing properties. Uh, so it's a very simple rule. The thicker the insulation, the better the noise reduction. Wow, it's, it's thicker. If the insulation is really, really good against heat, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the best insulation against noise. So you should check when you're purchasing the particular insulation what also the properties are when it comes to noise. But the very simple equation applies. I go around the house, I look at where the noise comes in and I plug it. Now, in some instances, insulation is not necessarily possible because you've got windows and you've got vents. And so even if you put a lot of insulation, even in the ceiling or under the floor, which are both available for insulation, you will still get noise in through the windows and the vents. And in those cases, Double glazing is actually one option. Those double glazed windows are not cheap, but they will make a very, very big difference. So when I had the house, I put the insulation in, the noise reduced about 50%, but then putting the double glazing in made another 50% difference. You have to have the right insulation. The thicker the insulation, the more the noise reduction qualities. And last one, if you have a vent, which still lets the noise in after you've put the insulation in. The good news is there are also vents available which still let air in, but also keep the noise out. Check out our installer network for the right product to be able to finally get a quiet home. Want more Energy Answered? Visit yourenergyanswers.com for quality energy products, tools and calculators, and find your quality local installers. Please support the channel by liking the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell and check out all our other videos. You're still here? I'll see you next time. Bye.